welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. But I wanted to start off, man, with a thought-provoking topic. Um, this was a topic that kind of was broached on somewhere else, and then it kind of just was like, ooh, I think that'll be a good one to bring to the fellas. So um, cool. I'm going to start with the question, give you the premise, and then I'm going to give you the question again and let y'all just go. So should mentally ill people or people with mental health issues be held responsible slash accountable for their online action? Now, I'm asking y'all that. Because I was watching one of my sector shows, you know, I, I still still be dabbing around in the Uma sector, although it's really not even necessarily that because nobody makes anything about Uma. It's kind of just like the sector. Um, mm-hmm. I was watching one of my sector shows. Shout out to LV the Snake Man. Uh, he had this demon infused panel that he does, and it's like all of the fuckery from the uh, from the sector, right? get brought there and you kind of hash it out and, and he, he does a really excellent way of you moderates. But anyway, on the panel that he had, they were discussing an incident that had happened on another show's panel. So I don't know what, what other panel this was on, but apparently this lady on this other panel had flashed her breast. Now, the sector is known for like just roasting on like the most serious of topics. So when some shit like this happened, like the sector did what they said they're going to do and they pretty much roasted the fuck out of her. And made uh, stones talking about the situation. Now, I don't know this lady personally, so I ain't gonna put her shit out there like that. But people from the sector know who she is. And I, I guess, you know what I'm saying? A lady got mad at everybody, allegedly, you know, from what I can gather from the conversations from the different chats and whatnot. Uh, I guess she got mad at everybody and left the sector or something like that. And then on LV, the Snake Man's panel, they were talking about this situation and during that discussion, they brought up the fact that this lady who flashed there about it, that she may not be mentally well. Hmm. So then the discussion kind of moved into like how much accountability or responsibility, like is she really culpable for due to the fact that she allegedly has mental issues. So I just thought that that discussion like was just a great discussion, like not necessarily the titties, but should mentally ill people or people who have like mental health issues be held responsible or accountable for their actions online? What's we'll oh, that? I'll let you go, Pat. <laughs> what threw me off is like I started looking at his face's face, and that that's what made me. I was real serious until I started looking at him smiling, yo. And then, all right, but. <laughs> Oh, and that's kind of hard to say. That seems like a case by case basis to me, because it also depends on the severity of their illness or whatever. But I, I feel like if you got the capacity to get on a computer and get and go on YouTube, which is very complicated. And now, Lady mind had, you, I Lady had her own channel and she also like would host live streams and stuff. So she was. And she was like heavily involved in chats from what I hear. I, I don't personally remember <clears throat> seeing her be like active like that, but <clears throat> I guess in certain chat rooms, she was like very active. So from <clears throat> what I hear, she was pretty like at least competent enough to like be in those chat rooms. How much faculty she had when she was there, I don't know because I ain't really experienced any other school, but yeah, that, just for that context, you go. I'm sorry. It's- it's just like, um, yeah, if you got, mind you, I have a job where there's grown people that they've, they come up and they have, they run businesses and everything, don't know nothing about how internet works, know nothing about streaming or nothing, you know? Right. If you get to a point where you can ask, because this is actually complicated. Like, if you really get down to it, if you're at a certain age or whatever, if you're past, like, 25 30 you know past 30 now nah, i don't even want to say 30 because 30 is kind of young man so i would say about our age and up or whatever like we wasn't really raised into like the internet world or whatever face you was you was freaking hilarious but we haven't we weren't face, really face. raised oh. 
Anyway. We wasn't raised into that. So, like, for you to just go out your way to learn all this stuff, how many followers do she have? I mean, does she have a lot of followers? Or? Part, I don't know. Like, again, like, so everything oh. I'm telling you is all hearsay, which is why I made sure, like, you know, pressure for me is just, like, the mentally, like, a mentally health, ill person in general. Like, you can mm-hmm. kind of fill in the conversation as you, as it kind of floats in your head. But, like, I don't know the latest specifics. I'm just going off of what they allege. So I'm just thinking of like, so if she is mentally ill or if a person is mentally ill and they are on the internet, but then they do some wild shit. How, how, how much, like what's the, how do you see the accountability scale for them going as opposed to a person who is a full uh, sound body and mind? I feel like the internet is survival of the fittest. So if you actually can get up there and actually operate it, you have enough capacity to know that, hey, this might be some crazy shit I'm about to do. It's well, just that your mental mental illness is like your mental il- illness have you at a higher rate of doing crazy stuff. But I mean, it's like I don't know. Like, I feel like if it was like a situation where it was a mentally ill person being filmed by somebody else or whatever, I'd be like, all right. Yeah, they I can't really hold them accountable. But you can operate some of this stuff like. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just I don't know. Maybe I ain't the one to say anything. about. It, well, shit, I'll be that. I'll be that one. Um, so I'm gonna piggyback on what you said at first, Pat. Now it is subjective when it comes to um mental illness because it is different levels of severity and a different different levels of um what type of mental illness people may have. But when it comes to this magical thing we call the internet, um, like you said, Pat, it's not that easy to get on there and create your own page. Um, it's not a novice thing. You have to have some kind of mental faculty to be able to do that. Now, if you're on that level, you have accountability for your actions because you, you know what you're doing. Now, at the point where your actions become, um, I'm going to say, for lack of better judgment, uh, strange, I should say, but when your behaviors become strange or stranger than normal, then once again, as an adult, you're still accountable kind of for your behavior. Um, first and foremost, um, the internet is the wild, wild west. This is just what it is. Um, if it goes down, it goes down on the internet. <laughs> um, and, and then the, you find the internet kind of encouraged that behavior. I the mean, the internet the encourages the the internet is Babylon. Um, and that's just what it is. The internet is Babylon, and Babylon. we all. I mean, we all have had bad internet days. We all have had good internet days. Um, and the internet is Babylon, the wild, wild west. For those who don't know what Babylon is, um, if y'all can relate to that, and in the wild, wild west it did not care who you were, who, what you were able to do. Um, only thing kept you safe is if you were a child. And in, those, in some cases, you won't say then. But if you are mentally capable of making sound judgments, of putting and recording yourself and uploading videos, why not be yeah, you're accountable for yourself? Um, that's just it. Be accountable. I believe in strong accountability for your actions, um, regardless of age, mental faculties, um, whatever handicap it may be, be accountable for your actions. The only people who can be accountable for their actions are the people who don't know the difference between right and wrong. And if they're mentally challenged to that state, no, they can't be held accountable. But the motherfuckers on the internet either. You know what? I have a bias. It's it's survival of the fittest. They got to be held accountable, too, because if you can get to the point that you can put a video on and time stuff to make videos for it, I don't care if you just cut, hit and record and just just saying stuff or whatever. And then in my own in my experience. The Internet is and social media is full of people that's just mentally ill in some type of way. And they just find some way to express it. And then they 
what they say end up becoming a meme or <clears throat> or some random clickbait topic or whatever. I, it's it's you you end up having random debates with some of the most mentally ill people if you hang around social media long enough. So I think at this point, if you if I hold I don't hold accountability for people for maybe mentally ill people that are not on the internet. But once you get on the internet, it's survival of the fittest. Whatever. We're all equal here. <laughs> this is because you can put whatever I, you want as your picture. People don't even need to know I who you are. That question. I, all right, so. I, I equate this question, man. I equate that question to the same thing as do you hold a, a mentally ill person responsible for shooting somebody? Motherfucker knew how to pick that goddamn gun up, crack it back, pull that damn trigger. Hell yeah. Motherfucker knew how to put that email address in, put that motherfucker other address in, that, put that password in, log in, upload the video. You damn right. You had the mental faculty to do all this stuff. You won't. I'm real ill now. I'm a little ill now. That does happen sometimes. But when you putting shit on the internet, you knew what you were putting on the internet. You knew what you were recording. You may not have wanted people to have the reaction they did, but your actions are your actions. Your actions. One thing us all adults have to do is be more accountable for ourselves and our actions. We don't like to be accountable for our actions at all times. Sometimes we have ridiculous actions we wish we did not do. But at the end of the day, you have to be accountable. At the end of the day, you will always be held accountable. It's just who gonna hold you accountable is the question. Yeah, I, when I first heard this, I, I started off with like a, a SJW approach and was like, oh, that's fucked up. They're taking advantage of the mentally handicapped lady. Mm -hmm. I thought about it. If, if the lady is handicapped or if somebody is mentally disabled, I look at it like if we was like riding down the street or some shit. Like the internet is kind of like a, a a a city or or a cityscape per se. And as you're navigating from chat room to chat room, or window to window, or video to video, or streaming service, streaming service, those are like the little different streets you're going on. And as you're going through there, you might stumble across something that's like, what the fuck? And I look what at it, like sometimes I'm driving through the hood and I might see a person that's on drugs outside that's pretty much in the same type of type of fashion. But now I'm stuck in the traffic light, so I can't even scroll past that. I'm, I'm kind of just stuck like, oh, please don't come over here asking for no change with your breasts out like that. Your, your page froze. So it's like um, I look oh, at it sure. like on one hand, the person needs more help. Like, if you are at the point where you flash your titties out and all that, something has went wrong. Now, if you just a sound body and mind, then that's a different conversation. Then it's just like, well, you deserve any, whatever comes with whatever you did, you deserve the full onslaught. But if you really was that, like, had some type of mental issue, then I'm looking at it like, as a person with a diagnosis and a, as a person, as a father of a person with a diagnosis, I'm looking like... Something has really went wrong with your support system that you've gotten to that point because usually the people around you, yeah, before you get there, they've seen some other things because they know you. That's like, hey, you looking a little off. Let me, what's going on with you? Mm -hmm. Hey, we need to do we need to check in? Do we need to take you back to the dock? Like, what's going <clears> on? Like, why are you acting like this all of a sudden? Hey, what's going on? Like, it would have been some people kind of monitoring, like. Hey, let me come stay with you for a couple of days. Make sure you straight. You know, some shit like, like usually in a good health. So I'm looking like it's also, yes, she deserves. I wouldn't say maybe the full onslaught of what the sector did. But at the end of the day, like when you've been in the, if she was in these sector streets the way they said she was, then she kind of has already seen how people do on some humble. Uh -huh. so, you know what I'm saying? You kind of should know by now, like, hey, I need to, if I ain't doing too well, let me back off these internet streets for a minute, get right and come back. Maybe I need to leave this alone for a second. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even when my anxiety be a little too messed up, like, I, I go ahead and take some time off for a second, or I like, let me get out these chat rooms for a while. To the point where I'll even unsubscribe to some shit for a minute and just come back 
when I feel like all right, I'm I'm in a better place where I can like deal with whatever happens. Cause you just never know. Mm-hmm. So I definitely think she I got a question. Something, but I do think I, I agree with the spectrum kind of look at it like mm-hmm. there are certain mental issues where like no, nah, like we can't even hold you at fault because like you literally mm-hmm. control that shit. Like you schizophrenic and you wilding out like that. I'm not gonna mess with you because like that's a different level of some shit other than like you just have functioning autism or you got anxiety or you are, like your reality is distorted. Right. Like even bipolar yeah. disorder, like unless you are <clears throat> extremely like unless you are like high end to the point where like you heavily medicated and shit, like even with that, like you got some manic moments and also manic like periods, but like at the same time, come on now, you still got some capability. <clears throat> So I think it really just depends on what the mental issue is. But overall, if you do something on the internet, it's kind of like doing it in the middle of the street. You can't, I can't really fault somebody else for saying shit or laughing or making jokes because it's like, you did that shit in public. It ain't like you did it in your crib and then somebody snuck cameras in there and caught you at a vulnerable moment. Like, it's like you kind of was outside wilding. So... You beat somebody ass or get your ass whooped. People gonna see something because they saw it. Like it's can't, can't get mad at people for seeing shit that they won't even ask to see. It just you thrust that upon them. You put your mm-hmm. bosom in the air, and they got well, you know, got up and got stuck. You know, I kind of I'll I'll how say I will argue that putting the pulling your teddy out in public might be a lot. Better than pulling it out on the internet, because when it's on the internet, it's forever. When it's just out in the public, unless somebody else is recording it, that's just that moment. You know what I'm saying? So, here's a question: like, These days, you got <clears throat> a camera, <throat> and you got security <throat> cameras on all the light poles. Damn, kidding! You got cameras in dash on dashboards and cars. You got cameras on mm-hmm. the outside of buildings. Like, cameras are literally there. So at this point, you got to assume that whatever you do outside of your personal... Somebody going to see them tickets. Your shit is out there. Like, you can't... It's to the point, like, back in the day when we was growing up, like, if, if you was a dude and you come out the club and you got a piss real bad, you can just go beside a building real quick, whip it out, let it loose, go on back about your business. Nobody to be the wiser. These days, you do that shit. It's like three camera angles of your Johnson just swinging in the breeze as you draw your name on the side of this building, and then you get a ticket for it too. Like on the internet, like the like the, like it's different now, man. Like it's a different time with like the way shit is captured. Like everything is out there. Like when I step out the house, yeah, man. I'm we like, living in demolition man times. Recording, like so, yeah. I think three things. Yes, you're held up accountable. It does kind of flow on the spectrum, but no matter what you do, if you're not in your own personal shit, assume somebody watching and recording and you're going to have your shit out there. And whatever you're doing, be okay with that because just know that it's happening. It's, oh, it's there. Everybody got a video of them just walking down the street somewhere for no reason. The video ain't got no purpose. But you just walking down the street on somebody's video camera somewhere. Did they provoke her to pull the titty out? Or did she just like, here I am, woman, hear me roar. From what I can understand, there was some type of conversation before, but nobody asked her to do that. From what I can understand. Again, this is all speculation to hearsay because I'm getting it third party. But from what I can mm-hmm. understand, it was more of she was like trying to push up on some dude. Or some dude, it wasn't going well. And then at some point, something escalated in that to her doing that. I'm not sure what the escalated quickly. was or like what the catalyst for like Titty Gate was, but at some point, Mighty Graw. allegedly, titties were shown, tears were shed. And you know, <laughs> <laughs> I give those titties two thumbs down. <laughs> Kitties and tears. Like say I'm like say. All right, so say like I'm really like 
in a crazy mental health place. Like, say I got some type of crazy diagnosis, some shit where I can't control myself at all as far as, like, my actions and shit. <clears throat> and then I'm on here wilding. Right? And somebody screenshot that shit, and that shit go viral. Like, I, I kind of sympathetic. Like, oh, man, if that was me, man, I want people to, like, you know, understand. Mm-hmm. I, it won't my best self. You know, hey. But on the other hand, it's like, I yeah, really see, get their jokes off. Like I kind of know that. See, shit. Like if I do something right now on here, stupid. No matter what my circumstance, people gonna laugh. See, that's that's the way I feel. Like I'm like I wanna I wanna give grace to the situation, but I'm like if I do something stupid, I'm getting sacrificed. Kind of like uh, faces right now to the smoke gods. <laughs> Breathe, nigga, breathe, breathe. I know he's smoking some real deal. It's so strong, it got him to pause. There you go. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> well, yeah, man. Uh, I think I think the part of consensus is pretty much, yeah, you would still get held accountable, but uh. Just know, man, watch your shit out here. Because you got people like Face just looking, waiting. Catch you slipping with your titties out. <laughs> <laughs> with that same face. <laughs> with the face disclaimer. Nipple slip. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, man, that's all I have for that one.